Uh, my final race of the weekend will be the Hereford Club Handicap Hurdle, unsurprisingly at Hereford. And let's have a look at the 14 strong field for this 0 to 100 handicap. It's over three miles as well, and in the rain, so it'll take some getting. Top one is Florence for Kevin Meenahan, who's also got Opera House, National Heroine for Paul Rhodes, Oriental Investment, Thomas Rogers, Ascoli, Martin Leadham, Olaz Tin, Darren Thompson, Elena Treat, Alex Cherry, Goodbye Millie, Vinnie Gerard, Crusader King, Paul O'Neill, Inspector Berger at Paul Rhodes, Taken, James Shea, Poppy Elise, Martin Leadham, Della Ray and Ryan Costello, and Ring of Esteem, Thomas Rogers. So 14 then. And a little aerial sweep of the hurdles track. And away we go in for this final commentary for me this week. And Poppy Elise leads them into the first, which they all get safely over. And Inspector Bergerac in second, pulling for its head in third is Goodbye Millie. Then Olaz Tin and National Heroine. Good lead then for Poppy Elise at the moment, my good four lengths. Probably even five, to be honest. The rest of them are pretty much in a heap with top weight Florence just a back marker. Poppy Elise is in the lead. By about six lengths to Olaz Tin, who's just about showing second. National Heroine, and aptly named for this week, I suppose. He's next, then Goodbye Million, Inspector Berger, and then Alina Treat as they get to the second, which they all get over. With Florence still just the back market. We're going to see whether Florence is going to be a machine or whether it's going to be a time for bed, said Zebedee, as they jump over the third. And Poppy Elise is the leader. By about five lengths. And through the rain. National Heroine is just second. And virtually four in a line there, though, isn't it? With by Millie Alina Troop and Olaz Tin taken is just tucked in behind them and then Ascoli the stable companion of the leader and then look at that that's lot there There's six or seven of them in a line it's lot like formation racing as they jump over number four Poppy Elise they all race past the electric fence and taken is in second the angle from the other side let's hope the camera doesn't back onto that fence and blow himself up but it's Poppy Elise in the lead then from Taken in second, and then Alina Troot and Olaz Tin, and Goodbye Million National Heroine, with Crusader King, going to try and go the shortest way around, and Oriental Investment, Ascoli, Inspector Bertrax lost its place just a little bit, Opera House is wide on the track, and Florence has got past Delarain. So Poppy Elise over the six then, in the lead, and still clear by a good four. Taken back in second. Elena Troot is third. And National Heroine is fourth. Still a long way to go, and they take the seventh. Poppy Elise has been in the lead all the way. This next flight will be the middle of the flights, if you like, the eighth of the fifteen. And Poppy Elise clear by four. So Taken is moved through into second. Elena Troot is third. Opera House is fourth. Then National Heroine on the last ten. Then Ring of Esteem, Goodbye Million, Oriental Investment with Inspector Bergerac and Ascoli, Crusader King and Florence, and then a couple of lengths back to Delarain at the back. And they're all safely over that one as well. With Ascoli, not the leader, Poppy Elise is the leader in the same colours. And it's Poppy Elise in front. By three, and taken second. Opera oh, House is moving. Nicely into the race around the outside, giving away a little bit of ground going wide, but he's travelling quite nicely, it would seem. At this stage, Populis is still comfortable in front. Only leads by a couple there now, two, or th two to three lengths from Opera House, who's just shown in second. Alina Treat is third. National Heroine's got the inside in fourth. Taken and our last ten are all close up as well. The field is beginning to bunch, and as they take that one, Populis's lead is down to a little more than a length there. Is Opera House just heading the charge? With our last ten as they take the tenth. Populi still hurdling well in the lead though. From our last ten and Opera House. Then National Heroine and Oriental Investment. Inspector Merger can take an Alina Treat, Ring of Esteem, Crusader King, Ascoli, all any of these out of it. Florence is just a little bit off the pace and Delarain is out of it, but it's Populi in the lead still. 
You're going to lead all the way. Probably about a length and a half to two lengths up. From Inspector. Oh, and Poppy at least rattled that hurdle, and that's given the lead away to Inspector Bergerac. So Inspector Bergerac takes it on then now. Inspector Bergerac, Poppy at least is trying to fight back to get back into the lead. Then Opera House not lasting over that one. Poppy at least jumped it better and got back in front again. Five furlongs to go, and three more flights of hurdles to take. It's Poppy at least in the lead. Inspector Bergerac looks to be going better than the two in second, though. Then comes Opera House and Olas Tin and Oriental Investment and Ring of Esteem and Alina Treat. Ascoli is going to try and come around a whole lot of them, but Poppy Elise is being corralled again by Inspector Bergerac. It's Poppy Elise and Inspector Bergerac. Then comes Elena Treat, Crusader King and Opera House. Ring of Esteem still there as well. They're beginning to bunch up now as they take the second last. And Inspector Bergerac's gone on. Poppy Elise looks beaten. Ring of Esteem's gone into second up the centre of the track. Crusader King is in third. Elena Treat's trying to run on as well. They've still got another flight to go though. Yet, yeah, and it's Ring of Esteem that's gone into lead. That's the second last. Ring of Esteem's over in front from Inspector Bergerac and Crusader King. Then comes Elena Treat. Poppy Elise Elise trying to fight back, but Ring of Esteem's got one more flight to take, swings towards home. It's Ring of Esteem with just a furlong and a half and one flight to take. Ring of Esteem is two lengths clear of Crusader King in second, and Elena Treat in third. Goodbye Millie's back in fourth, but it's Ring of Esteem looking as they come towards this final flight. Of They've only got to jump it. Oh, and it gone right through the top of it, and Crusader King now bursts into the lead. It's Crusader King who's gone on. Ring of Esteem is trying to battle back, but Crusader King takes it on the short run, and Crusader King was the winner, Ring of Esteem was only second and that winning post comes up very very quickly after that final flop and it's Crusader King who's won it from Ring of Esteem and Lena Treat was third, let's take a look at the full list then, Crusader King for Paul O'Neill, what a good week he's having, Ring of Esteem for Thomas Rogers was second and Lena Treat for Alex Cherry third, Goodbye Millie for Vinnie Gerard was fourth and Oriental Investment for Thomas Rogers was fifth